And President Trump is set to address the nation this morning about the mass shootings and facing growing questions about how much his rhetoric and race about race and immigration has fueled this hatred. And Cecilia Vega is here with that part of the story for us. Good morning. Such Cecilia. heavy hearts this morning, Robin. Good morning to you guys. We have talked about the inflammatory rhetoric from President Trump since day one of his campaign. And now the president and his administration are faced with having to answer whether this constant anti-immigrant drumbeat is fueling some of the racism and hatred that we are seeing in this country. This morning from President Trump, condemnation and few specifics. Hate has no place in our country and we're going to take care of it. And now his 2020 Democratic rivals are laying the blame directly at his feet. There's no question that white nationalism is condoned at the highest levels of our government. Former Congressman Beto O'Rourke, who calls El Paso home, said the president's words fuel hatred. He doesn't just tolerate it. He encourages it. He is saying that some people are inherently defective or dangerous, reminiscent of something that you might hear in the Third Reich, not something that you expect in the United States of America. The president has made vilifying immigrants a centerpiece of his administration from the day he launched his campaign. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. To this Florida rally in May, President Trump at first laughing when a supporter suggested shooting migrants. But how do you stop these people? You can't. There's no... That's only in the panhandle you can get away with that statement. Acting Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney insisting President Trump has forcefully denounced white nationalism. He's angry. He's upset. He wants it to stop. Uh, I don't think it's at all fair to sit here and say that uh, that he doesn't he doesn't think that white nationalism is bad for the nation. But in the wake of that deadly white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, it took two full days and backlash from within his own party for the president to finally offer a forceful condemnation. Racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything we hold dear as Americans. And in March, in the Oval Office, asked about white nationalism, the president dismissed the threat. Do you see today white nationalism as a rising threat around the world? I don't really. I think it's a uh, small group of people that have very, very serious problems. Well, it's not just Democrats this morning who are blaming the president. A number of experts who study hate groups and hate speech say, yes, these hate groups have always existed in our society, but a president, the leader of the country, echoing their talking points, that has emboldened them to act, giving them a sense of impunity. And guys, the FBI director testified that domestic terrorism cases are on the rise, most of them involving white supremacy. No question about that. We're going to have more on that ahead as well. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.